Look, 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 Look like an old junkyard dog, huh? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Okay, now, okay, this is our challenge. This is, we, this is our challenge, because Joe said, let's try to keep this video no more than 10 minutes. No minutes. We're already on 40 seconds. Let's, <laughs> let, let's go. Kitchen First Chronicles, all, everybody. Hi. Kitchen Chronicles, how y'all doing? I hope y'all had a great day today. I hope you had a blessed day today. I hope your day was prosperous. Yes. I hope that you kept your peace and no one brought you out of character. Because I know people brought me out of character today. Let me tell you. You know what? Well, we're not even going to dwell yeah, on that. Yeah, let's not dwell on that. Because it took me a minute to calm him down. I had to talk about things. You know, I had to talk about Celine Dion. And... Anyway. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? It's so good to see y'all. Listen, we've been getting good reviews on our videos. Let me tell y'all something. People have been watching. We are so, we are so grateful. Yes. And we feel so blessed that something that we started on a whim. Yes. That we have the subscribers oh that we have. We don't have hundreds and hundreds, but we don't need hundreds and hundreds right now. No, we don't. Um, but we've been getting, I mean, people have been coming to, in the cafeteria, coming to our station, saying the whole office was watching y'all. Y'all are hilarious. The whole office, really? The whole, yeah, he said everybody was watching us. Like, we are getting so much positive feedback from people that we didn't expect to get positive feedback from. Good. The people that we did expect. It's okay. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. It's okay. Okay, so um, just a couple things, y'all. Uh, number one, it's restaurant week. Turn up. It's restaurant week. It started, the, what's, what's today? Today is the 27th. It started two days ago and it goes to August something. And they always wind up extending it anyway. They because always do. It's always, you know, great. You know, it's, it, it, it becomes big revenue. So, of course, people want to keep it going. So. And restaurants that you don't. We talked about this uh, a, a few videos ago. Um, NYC.go. Yeah, NYC.go. Mm -hmm. Um, all of the participating restaurants will be listed. You can, uh, um, they have lunch and dinner, and I believe it, it's not offered on the weekends because Saturday and Sunday are restaurants' busiest days. Right. So they need to make their money some kind of way. So um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. Mm -hmm. so and yeah. um, look for coupons, guys. I know usually Time Out Magazine usually has coupons, right? They sure do. Uh, Time Out Magazine, some, uh, it's another magazine, but you can even go online and get, you know, if you mention such and such, you can get like $5 off of your meal, even during restaurant. Right? Dinner is $42. That's, uh, that's everything. $42. In a restaurant with... Is that, that per plate or like, is that per person or... Per person. Per person. Okay. At, is that a, the average? Yes. And lunch is 20 something. Oh, that's but that's um, at a restaurant where it could normally cost you from 100 to $200 for a meal for one person. So um, take advantage of it, y'all. Please do. It's summertime. This is your way of trying different things and not spending a whole bunch of money. We talked about this before. I'm not going to talk about it again because I want to get attitude. Let's move on to the next topic. So y'all listen, um, y'all do that, especially guys. Y'all want to take a girl out. Oh, I'm just saying. Look at you thinking of a little romantic dates. Hey, listen, you trying to uh, you trying to have some fun this summer and you know what be cool. Fun just some fun, some clean fun, some wholesome fun, holiness fun, nasty fun. <laughs> Y'all know y'all want to be nasty all the summer. Well, we're not going. We're we're, we're not. Uh, we're not promoting. We're nasty. not promoting that. Gotta keep. Gotta keep it PG. Go ahead. This is a children's show. <laughs> you gotta catch Joe and Joe and T after dark. This look. look this is this is a, 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 a um. What the? Uh, this is a spinoff from Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Did you know that Mr. Rogers was a was a preacher? He was a Presbyterian pastor. He was a pastor. Yes, he was. Never met. Let me tell you something, Mr. Rogers. You don't have to be deep. You don't. Draw people in. Let me tell you something. And, and he was watched worldwide. 
I used to watch. Look who over there. Watch first one. Make this way over here. Oh, you gonna switch it? Um, get on my nerves. Uh, I watched this morning. I watched him out yesterday. You know my last nerve. Okay, we go. We we move it on. We gonna keep this positive. Oh, and we we have five, five minutes. minutes. Uh oh. All right. Oh, uh, um, the other thing that we wanted to talk about. The other day, last week, last week, um, we had steakhouse on Wednesday. Tuesday, we were supposed to have it on Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, um, we had a problem with the equipment. They, our exhausts weren't working in the cafeteria, and we could not turn the grill on because that would have filled up the whole. Because that would have filled up the whole cafeteria with smoke, and that would have been a good look for us. So we we. We were supposed to be having, it was being worked on. We didn't know if we were going to have to cancel steakhouse or not. So we found out an hour before service started that we were not going to do steakhouse. I had nothing else prepared, and I had to find something that would feed at least 100 people in an hour. That's what we're going to talk about right now. When things go awry, and you got people coming, and your meatloaf has burnt, what do you do? With your meatloaf is burnt. <laughs> I, I just figured. I, I just figured about we going to talk about meatloaf. When your meatloaf is burnt, what do you do? So what do you do, y'all? What do you do when you have company coming over, family, friends, etc., and you made a mistake and sat on the couch while your ziti was in the oven and burnt the hell out of it? What do you do? This, you know, you know what comes in handy on during these kind of times. The stuff that we told you to keep your pantry at all times. You always have pasta. You always have tomato sauce. You always have rice. Hi. Hey, how are y'all? How are y'all? <laughs> um, you always have those things. That's that's number one on what to do. Let's say, let's say your boyfriend, your husband, called and said, "Honey, I'm gonna bring some people home for dinner." And you want to be a good Christian wife and not curse him out. A good Christian wife. What do you do? What do you make? What's fast? Pasta. Pasta's fast. Um, another dish that's fast is any kind of stir fry. Any kind of stir fry. And you know why stir fry is good? Because it's basically a kitchen sink. Mm -hmm. You can throw and and it's and it's mostly for people who keep a well stocked pantry. It's things that you already have in your pantry. Um, lo mein, real fast, real fast. Uh, you throw, you chop up some vegetables, um, soy sauce, sesame oil, ginger garlic, over a bit of rice. You always got, another thing you always have in your cabinet is rice. Always have some rice. And for me, I always keep a little jasmine rice. Love trying to be fancy. Honey, I love what I did when we had when I had to find something fast, we had manicotti, we had fro we had manicotti and um, ravioli, ravioli already frozen. Um, I made a quick Alfredo sauce that took ten minutes, and I made a marinara sauce that also takes ten minutes. And, so, and another thing you can keep in your pantry is a jar of tomato sauce, honey. Put that jar of tomato sauce in a pot, doc, zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up. Remember um, Semi Homemade with Sandra Lee? Uh -huh. that, that, that show? Mm -hmm. That show was all about taking stuff that was already store bought and judging it up. Mm -hmm. But folks, this, remember, we, we're talking about stuff that you should already have in your cabinet. Right. And if you are a good cook. Well, from, 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 from. well, you know what? You don't have to be a 100% cook, but for the, this is for the people who cook on a regular basis, who, you know, might have a little food blunder. A, a, a food what? Food blunder. Food bloopers. Okay. From, 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 from. Why are we going game show themes now, right now? Why like what? <laughs> I love Price is Right. <laughs> Honey, I love the Price is Right. <laughs> Bob Baca. Keep some shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. Keep tomato sauce. And preferably make your own tomato sauce and portion it out in quart containers. In the Chinese... In quart containers. I'm not going to say Chinese Tupperware because I don't want to be politically incorrect, but that's what we call it. I don't want people to be like, oh, you guys are making fun of Chinese people. We're not making fun of Chinese people. They're just smart. And they keep this stuff. <laughs> Y'all know your 
go to a Chinese restaurant, you order a, a homemade a homemade iced tea or a homemade lemonade. Those are core containers. There's Nest tea y'all drinking. Nest tea is your stuff. That's that, that's that powder tea. <laughs> That's that powder tea. This tea is docked it up. Honey? Oh, we... We had 10 minutes and 14 seconds. We went over our challenge. Oh, oh well. Are we done? So what? Yes. So let's, say, let's say you're cooking a roast chicken. There you go. And you got in the shower or you started watching Love and Hip Hop and forgot that the chicken was in the oven. Get the other man. And... Which way are we going, Joe? Are we, are we, going, we, we staying right here? We we're going to stay in way? the lane. Just let me know, because we've already passed that minute. In the lane. All right. Okay, so you... Okay, I forgot the chicken. It's overcooked. It's dry. It makes me gravy. Cut that chicken up. Make some gravy, which is... On, uh, please tell me y'all know how to make gravy. Please. Raise your hand if you know how to make gravy. Please raise your hand if you know how to make gravy. Okay. I'm gonna do this real quick. Butter, the flour, equal parts butter and flour. Same same amount of butter you use, same amount of flour you use. Cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it until it gets like a peanut butter color. Make, light it in peanut butter. Put your seasonings in then because it's hard to add seasonings after it's done. It has to cook in. Add water, gravy. Taste as you go along. Taste as you go along. Garlic powder, you can use thyme, onion powder. Um, you can eat Old Bay seasoning. Whatever you got, use. Take the juices that's from the chicken that you overcook, because I know there's still gonna be juices in the pan. Pour that in there. There you go, you got a pan gravy. Cut the chicken up, sit that chicken down in that gravy. Honey, you got a brand new meal. Make you some rice. Are you gonna get fancy? You make vegetable rice. <laughs> Yeah, call it a day. Yes, you know what you do with that with that beet loaf that you cook too long. Chop that up, put some put in some put in the marinara sauce. You got it. Poverty meals. What what is it, Joe? Poverty meals. Poverty pots. Poverty. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not. It's called improvising. Improvising. It's called Listen, improvising. If all else fails, order pizza and cut up, cut the, cut up the pieces, make little appetizers. <laughs> cut it up real nice. Pretty. Put it on a little, a little platter. Or you can call me a Joe Crustinis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or you can call me and Joe, me and Joe, and we'll come over. We'll cook for you. We'll cook. For a small amount of money. Yeah, small amount of money. Because, you know, because we need some money. We need some money, y'all. Um, I don't know anybody. About it. We need some money. Did I tell you what happened the other day? I have not, because you asked me. Honey? Listen, we need a show. And we, we need money. Okay, this is what we need. We need somebody to edit our videos. Yes. We need, we need a little sounds. We need Maybe sounds. a little audience in the background. Like, yay! No, I got that. I downloaded oh, you that. Got that? that. <laughs> Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to add that here. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we need uh, we need a nice camera. Mm -hmm. We need a television some of, show. We're gonna we gonna we gonna start working on some of those other little things. But listen, we are just grateful right right now for what we have and the people that are watching. Listen, this Honestly. selfie stick is working out just fine, <laughs> honey. We got forty five subscribers off the selfie stick. Boom. And so we got interesting how you like topics. that? And we cute. <laughs> Are we doing that again? We cute. <laughs> we cute. <laughs> All right, so listen. Remember, like, subscribe. We're on Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube. Facebook, Kitchen Chronicles with Joe and T. Kitchen YouTube, with Joe and Kitchen T. Chronicles with Joe yes, and T. Yes, yes. Uh, Instagram, Kitchen Chronicles with Joe and T. Kitchen Snapchat. underscore. Chronicles underscore Go Joe ahead, and tell T. Him, tell him, Joe. Kitchen on Instagram. Kitchen underscore Chronicles underscore. What is it? Just Kitchen Chronicles? Yes, just Kitchen Chronicles. Kitchen underscore Chronicles okay. underscore. That's Instagram. Snapchat. Kitchen Chronicles with Joe and T. You can find us anywhere. Anywhere. And we're going to start doing little demos. Because y'all probably like, y'all always talking about food. Y'all probably don't know what y'all doing. Y'all don't even know how to cook. Let me tell you something. Stay tuned. No, I know you have to stay tuned. I can give you all references. Tell me if you want to. I burns. I burns. He burns. 
We got to prove nothing to nobody. But if you want some references, we got them. We love y'all. <laughs> All right, video off. <laughs> you know you work on my last night training. Video off.